Hello folks, St. Paul Steam here with something a little unusual. It's a Jensen 65 with a cord coming out of the back. This is an electrified version. I call it my 65 EL dual fuel. It has an immersion rod style heating element installed inside the boiler so you can still actually use the uh, ESBIT tray and uh, burn an open fire under it as well. Uh, I've of course done some modifying to it. Uh, first off I'll show you what the, uh, the heater looks like in the back of it. I take a brass uh, piece of brass and I drill it out and I make a sleeve out of it to accept that uh, immersion rod style heater and um, solder it in the back. And then we of course hook our cord up to it and it's uh, the electronics and they're all hooked in the back in the chimney stand like any Jensen would be. I uh, repainted the firebox, chimney stand, chimney. And also the uh, bow governor cap. And of course we installed some rollerball bearings into the stanchions. And uh, she just runs a treat. I've not had a 65 in my possession before. Never even really seen one up close. But they have the slip eccentric to uh, run both directions. And she does. Well, let's open her up a little bit. Right now it's running on 50 volts. And I actually had a run last night of uh, right at two hours on one tank full of water at about 45 volts. I'm going to turn it up to 110. And it doesn't take long. It takes about three minutes or so to get up to uh, enough steam to run. And the boiler or that the heater really doesn't take up that much room in the boiler. It's below the window, so the same rules apply to any Jensen. Fill it up the top of the window and run it down to the bottom of that window and you're fine. And it is, of course, grounded. But anyway, there we go. Appreciate y'all looking. Jensen 65 EL Dual Fuel. Bye now.